Hi there, I'm William Elliott, and I'm with Barcode and POS, as you can see. However, I am a POS business consultant or a POS professional business consultant, not a salesperson, but a consultant, one with much information that I want to share with you today about the POS industry. There's a lot of misnomers, um, a lot of false information about it. A lot of people, believe it or not, don't know what point of sale or POS is and what it stands for. It stands for point of sale. It's a transaction that happens at every store. It affects every facet of your life. So we're going to talk about that a little bit. And I want to share with you, I want to bring you up to speed. This is going to be the first of many videos, I believe, that's going to help you. You being who? The customer, the end user. You being who? The manager of the store. You being who? The owner, the entrepreneur, the, the business owner, the large corporate business owner. Regardless, it's going to affect you because the point of sale industry is huge. The actual hardware itself that is sold is 200 billion dollars a year. That's just peripherals hardware that you see on my left and my right. The software itself is another, almost another hundred billion dollars a year. So this industry is huge. So I thought what I would do is share information with you about it. I thought that it would be informative and very helpful to someone that is looking for a new POS system want to expand or change their existing system and someone that simply wanted to understand what the point of sale or POS industry can do for them. So I'm here to answer a lot of those questions and we're going to be taking all again looking at every area of point of sale so that you can get a, a wonderful idea of what it can do for you. Notice on my left, your right, you will see this, this little machine here. You will see it on the left. This machine right there. You will see it. And that is a credit card processing machine. And then you'll see on my right, your left, you'll see that machine, which is a made up of lots of components. You'll see the iPad. There's a cash register or cash drawer underneath a monitor, a printer, a credit, another a device, a display monitor, and an iPad. Those are called peripherals. And we're going to get into that and talk about that. But driving that is software. And again, I told you about that software and how powerful it can be and, and what it does for this entire huge industry. Now, if we talk about computerized systems, notice the old days you had cash registers. Some people still use those. Some people still use the cash registers, but that's not the way to go. Cash register is simply something that is a dumb machine. It can tell you how much you've spent for the day, but it can't track inventory. It cannot tell you what's how much you have left. It can't tell you about shrinkage. It can't keep up with accounting. It can't keep up with theft. It can't keep up with those kinds of things. We'll talk about that as well. So point of sale system is a complete computerized system. So let's talk about the components. If you notice, it handles every aspect of the industry, from the retailer from A to Z, whether that retailer is a boutique shop, a, a, a Target, a Walmart, some of the large retailers, to your small entrepreneurs, which just has a small shop, pet store, hardware store. They all have systems. They all have to have systems to keep track of the inventory, the customers, the vendors, the sales, what's being sold, what's in, what's out. Those kinds of things must be tracked in order for a business to be successful. 
Then you have your restaurants, again, from quick sales to fine dining. Again, that's tracking every aspect of the business in terms of the servers, uh, the managers, the customers, the clients, tables, ingredients that's being sold. All of that information is being captured by the system. And then the regular business automation people that use and store owners or entrepreneurs, CEOs that use point of sale. So again, it's the software and hardware. And I'm just here to tell you about how we are going to make it easy for you and why the solution is made easy. It's, believe me, there is a lot of moving parts, but my job is to make it easy for you. For instance, I am the POS business consultant, professional POS consultant. And therefore, I know a whole lot of information. I've been in the industry for about 40 years, by the way. I have countless accreditations uh, uh, about this stuff. So I think I'm in a good position to share with you the information. I have a list of some of the vendors that support us in terms of what we're doing. We appreciate those. I'll talk to you some more about those as well. But what I want to do tonight or in for today, depending on when you're listening to this, is simply tell you about point of sale and how it affects you. And that's basically it, what we're going to do on this first video. So let's talk about POS and the components, what it is. Again, I mentioned to you that it's a computer-based POS system consisting of a computer platform. Again, the, the two devices on your left and on your right, or I should say devices. This is considered to be hardware. So it's a, it's a platform, computer platform. A variety of special peripherals, which is also what these things are called on your left and your right. Then these devices, again, we'll talk individually about these devices and how they connect to a POS system and how they work to make the system a masterpiece. So, a POS software application, that's what you do not see, which is inside the computer. The monitor that you see on my right, your left, is a computer system. It has, it's what we call a CPU. It's a computer unit. It's a component, and it, and it has software on it. So it is an actual computer. The monitor, it's called an all-in-one. So that's what exists inside a point of sales system. The software drives all of this hardware, all of this information, all of these components are driven by the software. So software applications then, when it ties all together, and then don't forget again, the iPads, the POS system uses the iPads or other tablet computers and places of PCs and monitors. And you're seeing this every day. Some of you notice these in the airports when the guy sets a scanner or a, a, a credit card apparatus machine on you for you to pay. We have the, the iPay, or iPads. There is, this is all going to sell. But I want to break it down and make it simple for you because I really want you to take something with you. So, Let's talk a little bit about the software then, this invisible thing that you do not see, but it's working and doing what you need it to do. Software controls the behavior of the POS system. The software can, can be divided into four categories. Think about that. Four categories. The operating system, the OS, the POS. So the operating system, you know, and we all know that, whether that's on the iPhone, or it can be the OS, the iOS, or it can be any, any of the operating systems. Microsoft, any of the operating systems, and there are a ton of them, amen? So I just want to go ahead and give you those, the operating system, talk about that, because that's, that's a layer of the software that has to be laid down first. When you receive a PC, you receive the operating system, don't you? When you receive an iPad, you receive the operating system as well. So that's the operating system that should. 
The operating system, again, is the OS, the POS application software, the credit card software, the automation software, and then the account. Those are four, four pieces of software that is laid down and must run together and must integrate together to make a complete parcel system. And you go, wow, I didn't really know that it required all those softwares. Yes, it does. A complete system. And that's what we're going to be talking about, mainly a complete system that we use every day. So you can begin to understand it. Now, let's go a little further and talk about the operating system itself and how it runs in a POS system. If you have a desktop computer, for instance, at home, it is most likely to be classified as a Windows machine, most likely. But, you know, there's a Mac and, you know, and iPads and, and things like that. There are other types, of course, as I mentioned, but these two vendors comprise the majority, the majority of traditional computers in the home market. Microsoft Windows is the leading operating system for home computers, as we know. For the tablets and the laptops, you have more choices. Apple, Google, Android, operating systems, dominant mobile computing. And so, again, these are what? Operating systems. If yours is a small business or if you have a small business, and again, we're talking to you, small business owner, you may find a large selection of POS applications if you stay within the Windows environment. Windows, the old version, which we don't recommend, you've got the old version, Windows 7, is probably not used anymore terms of running applications. We don't recommend it. So we would recommend something like Windows 10 and then staying up on everything that you're doing because there's constant updates and upgrades that are coming out always. We know Windows. So, but the PC operating system is widely used. The older versions then are not while many POS peripheral vendors have not released the Windows drivers and the hardware, although it's changing quickly, though. In other words, vendors all have to keep up with the operating system. All the peripherals must be able to talk to the operating system because the software is always constantly upgrading. And you say, well, wow, that's a lot. No, not really, because they're the companies or and the support team and all of the people and all of the things that goes with it. These systems are very highly tested, very highly integrated, and they're constantly moving. And they're constantly having people like me to keep up with everything to make sure that it all it, it is all transparent to you. So no worries. So again, we understand now that there are operating systems that must be laid down on the POS system. Again. The POS then, let's look at the POS software. The POS software adds the retail functionality to everything. <laughs> That's what we need, really, because <laughs> we know we have a computer and an operating system, but we really need something to run our business. So the POS software will do that. The POS software adds the retail functionality to the POS system. It provides the user interface and all the features that you'll use during the operating of your business. Later, we'll talk about, we will talk about more about how this software drives everything, every aspect of the business. It will provide more detail on these features and tell you which ones we think are the most important. Okay, so we will point that out. So stay with us because this is significant. Some of you have been wondering, how can I get information? Just opposed to having, go look all this stuff on Google and there's tons of information. You need someone to sit down and tell you about these things and all these components, how they work, and then be secure about your decision. And we're gonna help you with that. That's the whole purpose of starting this particular type training videos, just for you. Then you have the credit card software. That's the, that's the third piece of software that you need. All right. 
The third piece of software that you need on your POS system or within your POS system. It's a credit card software, and that also has uh, four levels, and we must, I, I think, get into those. We'll talk about the credit card processing, the whole piece, the security, everything that goes with that. But let's just talk about the basics now, because that's one of the softwares that's required to run the POS system. Credit card processing software is mainly what you, one of the terms you'll mostly hear, but most retail business accept credit cards anyway as the payment for purchases. Some businesses just use that particular machine. On your left, on, on your right and my left, that machine is all they use in some businesses. You may currently use a retail payment terminal again. That's all they may use with a credit card swipe. A verify credit card authorization. Okay, so there is also something else that we must understand. Credit card software, again, let me say this again. Most retail businesses accept credit cards as payments for purchases. So we're going to have to have that. If you're going to have a successful business, you're going to have to accept credit cards, but that's where it's going right now, isn't it? Cloud-based or whether it's just regular brick and mortar stores, and that's another piece we'll talk about. Too. There's tons of information that we must cover, but I want to bring you up to speed, so I don't want you to get overwhelmed by all this, because that's what we're here for, to break it down. You may currently use a retail payment terminal with a credit card swipe to verify credit card authorization, which is, again, my left, your right, and that's what that machine is. And it's, guess what? It's driven by software internal software. And then that is driven also by the vendor or provider that is providing that. And that information, of course, collects information and then eventually goes to your bank and everybody gets paid. So again, the POS, the POS system offers, offers implement. It offers implementation. This feature, which with software, uses a simple mag stripe, as you know, to read this, whether it's the chip card or the strip reader. Uh, on the computer or as a computer peripheral interfacing or integrating with credit card processing functions, this can save step and time to the checkout process, as you know. Because when you put your credit card in, when you're in a store, whether it be a Walmart or, or a restaurant, you're going to give them your credit card at some point or just tap it or swipe it the credit card is going to be a major piece in the POS industry because that's how everyone gets paid. That's how your money is collected. Everyone accepts credit cards. Now, you will have three options for credit card processing in most cases. Notice three options for this. As a POS software package with the integrated or integration credit card authorization. So we'll integrate with it. Or it would be an add-on. Notice this is why they're standalone. Notice on again on my left, your right, that machine is standing alone. However, if we wanted to, we can put that same machine with the other devices on my right, your left. So I wanted to make sure that you understood this because there is a lot of things going on. Again, that machine can be added to those devices with the software application driver. Continue to use your credit card payment, payment terminal. You can use it either way, either with or without. It gives you the option. But in most cases, it's going to be part of. And these machines and all this, this, this equipment is so sophisticated. It's mind boggling, some of it. And you've probably seen a lot of it doing a lot of different things and a lot of different shapes, forms, and facets. But again, we're talking about this in a sense because all I'm trying to do in this particular video is just give you the quick summary and then we can get into detailed topics. And if you have specific topics that you are trying to you were trying to find out because you're getting ready or at a point of making some type of decision about a point of cell system, or you're just trying to find out whether I need it. 
to integrate a new piece or to upgrade or to just change altogether, that's what we're here for. And I want to make that perfectly clear. We're not salespeople. We're just people that want to share information with you because we felt the need. There was a lot of people out there that didn't know what to do and they're just reading a whole tons of information and I can give you the down and dirty here to be able to select the right, the right vendor and the right system for your needs. Finally, I want to finish up with this on this particular topic tonight and tell you, again, whether it's night or day, I want to be able to tell you that. Because some of you probably worked all day and it may be night you listening to this and you go, wow, this guy knows a lot. And yeah, I do. I've got about 30 years in this industry. So, and I felt a need to share some of this with you. It's a form of giving back. So here's the deal. You know, the again, the fourth software that you would need, fourth software, remember there's four, and I'll recap those, okay? The fourth software is the accounting software. And you say, well, I got an accountant. Well, yeah, you do, but guess what he uses? He uses, the, he uses, he uses an accounting application. And there's lots of those as well. As you know, SAP, or all those guys are large, some of them, uh, ADP, they have all these large accounting systems that they use. And a lot of these systems will integrate with your POS system. A lot of you know QuickBooks, QuickBooks is into it. And they're large as well. But nevertheless, there's a lot of wonderful accounting systems that will integrate perfectly with the POS software. And so again, the four softwares that are needed with a POS system are the actual operating system, the POS application itself, the credit card application software, and then your accounting software. All of these you will need to run a successful business and have a successful bonus system. And whatever POS software you select, they should all integrate. All of these should integrate with your system. You can have just one, but then you're gonna create a nightmare for yourself because if you're just doing accounting, then what about your inventory? If you're just doing the POS software, what about the accounting? If you're just doing the POS software, what about your credit card processing? So if you're just doing your credit card processing, what about your reporting and also your accounting? Are you hearing me? So this is why I wanted to make sure that you understood it because there's so many things that we can do with the point of sale system to make it work. The most, the, 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 the most single use or useful feature of the POS system is to eliminate, notice, the main reason, one of the main reasons that you need a point of sale system, especially if you're a business owner or have any type of business, the main reason is to eliminate errors at redundancy, time consuming, you know, unnecessary steps that you go through. If you had a system, you wouldn't be able to, you wouldn't do that. You wouldn't spend hours at your job hanging out because now you've got reports you can take home with you, just examine over dinner. So again, it has, it eliminates error prone situations, time consuming, yet necessary steps, POS systems can transfer the day-to-day -day receipts to your accounting system. See, there it is. It's going to have poured all of that information that happened throughout the day to the accounting system, normally with just a few key strokes or the mouse click. So that's pretty much it in a nutshell. And again, there's a, so many things you can do. Thank you again for joining us on this POS journey. If you like what you've seen or heard and would like to learn more, you can do that by looking in the description area and clicking on one of the URLs and get a one-on-one -on -one with us and get more detailed information. It's free. And also, I'd like to let you know, you can also subscribe by clicking on the right-hand corner, the bottom of the screen, where it says barcode and POS. Click on that and then it'll open up and says subscribe. Please do. 
And of course, like us and tell us what you would like to hear more of, and we'll be happy to oblige. Thanks again. Look forward to seeing you again on the next video. All right.